Hey, Marcus Conti, reporting. Former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. So uh, today I was uh, I caught something pretty pretty interesting. That's um, it's actually kind of breaking news. I was uh, I found out got a, a tip. <clears throat> See all my hats. <laughs> Marcus Conti, sanitation enforcement agent, man of many hats. So I'm down um, downtown today, and I caught a press conference with the uh, soon-to-be mayor of New York, Nicole Malatakis. Nicole Malatakis for mayor. And um, I was able to, <laughs> I was able to get up front and and fire off a question. And what did I ask her? How? What do you think of you know ticket quotas in New York City? And uh, so I got that question off and. Because it was a, it seemed like, I, it, it's it's an it was an interesting it was an interesting encounter because, I I'm not an official member of the press I didn't have my my official press package on right and um, so when I got my question off I was I was immediately interrupted like excuse me are you are you are you a member of the press we don't know you and so. <laughs> Think fast, rabbit. <laughs> so, uh, crowdsource the truth. Uh, that's all. That's what I. That's what I said. Because I am right. I'm. I'm. We're all. We're all the crowd, right? Jason Goodman, thank you. If you don't like it, well, you know, you tell me take it down. You know? But uh, that's what I said, you know. And uh, so anyway, but uh, it's it's a it's very interesting. She she clearly said I pushed her, and she said I do not support quotas. Um, she, you know, basically backstepped. She probably doesn't know much about it, and she backstepped and said that she's not familiar with what the present policy on quotas is. What policy? Law enforcement quotas are illegal. They're illegal. There is no policy. The policy is don't, you can't have a quota. It's illegal. But we'll hold her on our, you know, face value. At face value, she said... I don't support quotas. She says it twice. So, got my vote. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, Bill. Step aside, Bill. Step aside. There's a new, there's a new, there's a new, the new sheriff in town. Peace out. Question: How is telling kindergarten child to stay home effective in stopping the kind of behavior that you're talking about? Well, you know what? It's 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 been effective. I mean, we've been doing this we've been doing this until up until 2012 or 13. So I mean, it was something that was done. Again, when I agree with Mayor Bloomberg's policy, we're not going to do a 10 day suspension. We'll lower that number. But there needs to be some type of disciplinary action, and also, you know, it, it notifies the parents, gets them involved. I mean, this is to be. You know, young people can be taught from a, a very early age that they need to respect their teachers, and they need to respect their classmates, and they can't be punching people, they can't be insulting uh, people. It's, it's, that's, you know, that's something that's, you know, don't you want people in our society that respect people that follow the rules? Hi, um, the uh, current mayor, uh, de Blasio, yeah. You with the press? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, crowdsource the truth. So... The, the uh, current mayor has a bit of a problem with uh, addressing ticket quotas. I don't want to change the subject, but ticket quotas in New York City have been um, pretty much rampant. We have the Department of Traffic. We have the uh, Department of Sanitation uh, all engaging in ticket quotas. Can you speak uh, Can you speak about, and M Mayor de Blasio has been silent. Yeah. Loretta James down the block, silent. Well, I can't say what their internal policy is. On, I don't support quotas. You don't support I don't, I don't support the Thank you very much. Excuse me, we have some hair on your 